and everything else is under edit. This is how you edit your component, your board, the uh, mount points, and so on and so forth. In this video, I'm going to only go over the first three, since these are the basics that you need to know, almost everybody needs to know, and the other ones are all application-based. So depending on your application, you may want to know what they do, which we have uh, materials, tutorial materials for them under the uh, help drop-down menu user guide. Right? Any of these that you're looking uh, at there, there, there is a, uh, there is a uh, tutorial for it here. Now back in here. So you want to edit your components. You will, for example, the uh, ODB file has been parsed in, and then you know that some of these components are not looking OK. For example, these resistors, you can see that they're rotated uh, 90 degree. You need to bring them back on vertically. So you'll go to Edit, Edit Component. Right click on one of these resistors, it highlights green or sorry, highlights uh, red, and then you can rotate 90 degree. So now we can do this for all of these by holding the shift key and highlighting all of these together. Right click, rotate 90 degree. Now I just need to go back in here. Let me highlight this guy and rotate this back to 90 degree. I did it twice. Now, let's look at the components at the bottom of the board. Let's go to turn off the component on top and turn on component at the bottom. Now, let's look at the uh, solder mask at the bottom and turn off the copper. Now, you can see the same story goes for all these other resistors, but these components, the cues, they're okay. So, what I will do, I will use my filter. Show me anything that has R. There you go. Now, I can hold my shift key. I like all of these guys, right click, rotate 90 degree. And at the bottom, when you're ready, you can click save and it will save. Before I save, since I, if I save this menu, it will go away. You always have cancel or reset, which it's obvious what it does. And then you have the help button. So here you get a short description of uh, how to do uh, these things that I'm talking about. Save. And we're good. Now we can go back on our top layer and then kill the label R. There you go. Next down the menu is board outline. You want to usually, this is a perfect uh, 90 degree uh, board here, but usually you have curves. When you have curves, you have a lot of notes that you want to usually delete some notes to clean it up. It's, it makes your uh, uh, simulation calculations much faster and much more easier. So you go to edit outline. You see, I have one note here. If I create a few notes here, I'm holding a shift key and click on one of these notes and drag, it will give you a new note. So for example, this is your uh, curved corner, right? So I'm not really good at uh, drawing, but imagine this is your curved corner. You want to delete some of these uh, notes. You hold your control key and click on that node and it will go away. And there you go, back to normal. Reset. If you want to draw an outline, just click draw. Click, 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 and then it will you can draw an outline here. So now let's call reset. And then uh, you, again, you have a help menu, which will explain uh, very quickly how to do stuff here. So let's close this. Next is mount points. So Sherlock will take automatically the bigger uh, drill holes and assume them as mount points. And that's not necessarily true. You can see in this uh, board right now, if I hide my components, uh, I have four mount points that I know they're correct are in these four corners. But these three have been assumed as mount points as well, but I need to delete them. So while I'm in edit mount point, can right click on one of these mount points and delete. Yes. Or again, I can hold the shift key and then grab a couple of these and then right click, delete. Yes. If you delete a mount point by mistake, let's just delete this guy. 
And then you want to add a mount point. You can either right click add a mount point, right? Which uh, you can go and define if it's a mount hole, mount pad, standoff, or support them, depending on what it is. Usually it's either a mount hole or mount pad, right? So let's say it's a mount pad. Then you have to define uh, if it's on the bottom side of the board or top side of the board, you give it a height, you can give it a height of five millimeter, you define your material of that uh, chassis, and then you can define the shape, right? Rectangle, circle, whatever. And then you give it a uh, length and a width and then location X and Y if you know the exact location, and then you can define the constraints. Right? That's one way, but I'm not going to save this. I want to put my mount point exactly on top of this drill hole. So what I do, I'll hold my shift key and I'll click. I will drop a mount point in the exact same location and exact same size as drill hole. So if I right click now, go to edit properties, you can see the center X and Y, it's locked out. I cannot change the center. It is tied into that drill hole. So that's uh, one way of doing it as well. So save. And that's all about it, about mount points. So click save and we are done.